Hey there, Michelle. How are you doing today? Hey, Lindsay. I'm good. How are you? Hey, it's good to be on the microphone. It's a sunny day in Denver, so all good. No complaints. No complaints. Good. Yeah. Good. So, Lindsay, what did you have for supper last night? Supper. What a strange word to me. I almost <laughs> never use that word, but I can tell you what I had was a bowl of salad. I eat a lot of salad, like 10 salads a week. <laughs> just pale, and I put sweet potatoes on it, some cheese, some almonds and walnuts. So I go all out with oh, my that's salads. Cool. That sounds <laughs> what about really you? good. I had some pasta, and I don't know why, but lately I've been having a plum with like every single meal. <laughs> Plums are good. Do you like peach butter or plums? I like both. I have both. Oh um, my gosh. But it's like such a good summery, juicy fruit, like both of them and nectarines. I love. Yeah. It's fun to eat uh, uh, like around the season, right? So this past weekend, yeah. we were up in Breckenridge doing some biking and just taking some time with my extended family. And my sister-in-law's family was in charge of cooking and they made uh -huh. like an everything peach meal like they made a peach uh kind of oh. bourbon drink and then they made a peach kind of uh mix or glaze for the meat and then a peach cobbler they had at the end but oh like, my but, gosh that yeah. sounds amazing <laughs> that i would have been oh that would we have didn't been get to try the peach cobbler unfortunately but yes yeah i know right so it's fun to to cook with a theme a certain theme yeah, yeah. that is fun that is fun so you said that that sounded strange to you when i said what did you have for supper last night very right strange. yes because i never yeah. say that I never say it either. So, but we're, that's what we're talking about today. We, cause we have a listener question. So this is going to be a really, really fun one. Um, but guys also, we want to let you know that stay and listen to this episode guys, especially on Spotify. Cause on Spotify, there is a special poll uh -huh. that we are going to have at the end of the episode. And guys, you can participate in this poll and, in a future episode, we will share the results. So this is a great new way to interact with us, interact with uh, your fellow listeners. So just listen on for that. Yeah. So keep listening, guys, to the very end. So is today's, are there any related episodes our listeners should go back and listen to? To get some back. Well, it's, it's a recent episode, of, <laughs> uh, but uh, we have episode 2065 was uh, why are Americans all about aliens? So not so much related, but this is a. <laughs> I just had to. I just thought this one supper uh, aliens, you know, supper and aliens. Do aliens eat supper or dinner? I don't know. Um, but lo go ahead and listen to that one. So anyway, this is a question from Fabiana Lindsay. Um, would you like to yes, read the question? I would love to. Here we go. Hi, Lindsay. I was doing a Duolingo, Duolingo exercise and I saw the word supper replacing the word dinner. So I Googled these two words and one of the outcomes was Merriam-Webster establishes dinner as the principal meal of the day. <clears throat> supper, on the other hand, has three definitions. Whoa, I didn't know. The evening meal when dinner is taken at midday, a light meal served late in the evening and an evening social especially for raising funds. I also found that dinner and supper <laughs> depend on the U.S. region. However, what really confused me was the chunk of the definition, which says when dinner is taken at midday. Oh my gosh. This, right? is really, <laughs> right? this is really odd to me. I thought that midday around noon would always be lunch. Anyway, am I wrong if I keep using the word dinner for the evening meal? Is there any particular situation which I really need to use the word supper instead of dinner? Thank you for your help, Fabiana. Oh my gosh, Woo! what a question. Fabiana, <laughs> I, I, when I was reading what you put from Google, I was just as confused because what? What? Like, oh, it Supper be is hard. lunch and uh, <laughs> breakfast is dinner and dessert. Like, no, um, that's very confusing. And so I was excited about this question because I have a lot to learn about this as well. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so sure. yeah, Lindsay, I never say supper. Sounds like you don't say supper either, right? No, I really don't. But I know like over my lifetime, I have known people who do say supper. Let's just say that, right? Like people's parents right. when I was a kid yes. or people ah. in different parts of the country. So I, it is a word in the English language, of course, that we do use. So today we're going to find out the difference, right? Exactly. Yeah. To me, it sounds old fashioned, like yes. maybe in a book. Um, and like you said, I do know people who have who say supper. Um, and it does kind of make my ears perk up because I'm so used to hearing dinner. So yeah, there was this Daily Meal article, the dailymeal.com. Um, and this article is called This is Why Your Grandparents Call Dinner Supper. This is by Taylor Rock. 
uh, back May 20th, 2019. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm, I am going to read a little chunk of the article because I think this is helpful. Um, so it says, but midday dinner and evening supper were the most prevalent terms in agricultural communities during the 18th and 19th centuries. Mm -hmm. Farmers would fill up on dinner around noon to carry them through work. But then it all started to change when people began working away from the farm and weren't able to return home to eat in the middle of the day. Hmm. So that's something from a food historian, Helen Zoe Veet hmm. on NPR. Um, and it says supper became dinner because evenings became the only time working class families were able to gather for a meal. Wow. It's fascinating, Michelle, especially the fact that so much of our history has revolved around farming, right? Right. Right. So like, this is like, it's it's just so interesting. Even that was, it's like a little bit confusing. So it's just kind of how the workday changed and what people's jobs were. I didn't know any of this. So like when they say dinner is taken midday, like Mm -hmm. this is from our listener, it must mean when the large meal is in the middle of the day. Yeah. So I guess like if we want kind of a technical definition, would you say that that is our definition then the larger meal where people gather is more of a dinner? Whether that's, but but today we, we really mostly just call the evening meal dinner, whether we're gathering or snacking, don't we? Uh, like, well, if, if, if it's a light dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a light dinner. We have, but like, I think it's just that as far as, you know, our listener question, I think yeah. um, this is confusing. <laughs> this is confusing. Yeah. And, and this does come from like, you know, this is this these words have history to them and like how yes. this kind of changed and how everything um, you know, was changing in, you know, the 18th and 19th centuries. Um so yeah, it's saying farmers, these farmers had dinner at noon. Yep. But then yeah, it, it did change. So they couldn't eat in the middle of the day. And so then uh, the supper became dinner. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think the only, I think the most important thing for Fabiana to know, right, if she's living in the U.S. is, you know, don't worry about the word supper. <laughs> Just exactly. don't use it. Uh, dinner, we use dinner for evening meal. And then in my mind, the only time I use dinner, I might say Easter dinner, which might happen between it could happen at like 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. That's true. Christmas That's true. dinner could happen Thanksgiving earlier. Thanksgiving sometimes. dinner could happen earlier. It's always earlier. so weird to me. Like, do you, I mean, yeah, do you sometimes, like, does your family gather for Thanksgiving dinner at like 3 p.m.? Yeah, like we've done 4 p.m. Yeah. is the earliest I think we've done. Why do we p- do that? That's such a... Eat late. Uh, because we, because uh, you know, my family does that too. It's always sometimes random holidays or early dinners. Yeah, I don't. Get I, it. I think it's just uh, we, everyone's around the house all day. It's probably about football. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, ah, <laughs> that's people, funny. Yeah, I'm in a big f- football family these days. My in-laws are big into football. So I think that might have, and we're all just gathering around smelling the cooking all day. And it's really, I think at Thanksgiving in my world, it's about when the turkey's ready. And if you put the right. turkey in at 8 a.m., it's usually ready around three or four, I, I guess. <laughs> oh, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but the main thing is again for the I, I think don't think about supper. Lunch is lunch, yeah. dinner is dinner. Don't let this confuse you. Yep. Like, don't yep. you know? Yep. Now, lunch is dinner, dinner is lunch, breakfast is a midnight snack. I don't know. Um, <laughs> supper is, I mean, perhaps in certain parts of the country, people say it more, but um, yeah. I just don't think it's that common. And and it and it was interesting to me that this is that the article was called this is why your grandparents call dinner supper. And Lindsay, you said you know people who say yeah. supper, do you notice it with a certain age? Yeah, I think it is an older thing, which would make sense based on the quote we just read, right? So people right. that maybe did grow up when there was more farming going on and built their days around this or their parents did, right? Yeah. They would still use supper. So when you hear someone say come over for supper, it's really come over for dinner. Um and the person who says that might be talking about an earlier dinner if they are a little older, they might be eating earlier right? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. The the person I know who consistently says supper is on the older end. So, yes. you know, okay. it, it is, I don't know. 
anybody around, you know, in my age range that says supper. supper. But no. um, so yeah, but it is true. If somebody says like, but I know what it means. You, you know, know means. I've had yeah. I've had this person say, oh, and and what was what did you have for supper? I know what it means. You know yes. what it means. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's asking you about supper, just take it to mean dinner. I think. Yeah, that's our advice for Fabiana and anyone else living in the states. Understand what supper means. It means dinner. You don't have to use it though because it is probably going to be gone. I would say it's probably going to be gone in Based another out. 25 years. That yeah. word. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I would say so. I would say so too. Yeah, so sure. very, this is a great question though. Um, it really is. So yeah, I mean, there's now really it's just breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, dessert, snack. Yes. I would say that those are the basic, the basic ones. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Okay, Michelle, before we get into our questions, I'm not sure if this is on our list of questions to ask each other here in this episode. I have a very important question on your okay. opinion on something. What are your thoughts on breakfast for dinner? Breakfast love, for dinner. Yes. Love it. Love it. Okay. Good. We're on the same page then. <laughs> yeah, you do. yeah. Yeah. Breakfast for dinner. So, um, I wonder when that started or if that just always existed. Probably in the 90s. Probably in the yeah. 90s. The 90s were a time of, you know, change making and, you know, breaking up the norms, I think. And so, yeah, what we mean by breakfast for dinner at home, when I was a kid, we used to do this maybe every month, once a month, we would do like pancakes for dinner or waffles for dinner, cereal yeah. for dinner. And yeah. you love it. Whether you're an adult or a kid, you usually love it. Yes, exactly. I do. So I like I I do like doing that from time to time. Um, I don't know what it is. It just feels kind of special. It feels kind of like a sleepover. I don't know why. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because so I remember when I used to sleep over at my grandparents when I was a little girl. I remember every night, like at nighttime, my gra my grandpa would give me pancakes. Oh, that's so, so good. maybe it like gives me that nice feeling of like my grandparents. Yeah, there's something special about it. It's kind of breaking the rules, doing something fun and different. <laughs> um, yeah. What's your favorite meal of the day, by the way? And then we'll finish up today's episode, I think. My yeah. favorite meal of t of the day. I think I'm a lunch person. What about you? Interesting. Breakfast for <laughs> sure. I love breakfast, breakfast food. I love egg and cheese sandwiches. They're harder oh. to find out here, but I love them, especially on the yeah. East Coast. Oh my gosh. It, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that, that is good. Uh, I do love breakfast as well, but, um, no, I would say, I would say like, I like a, well, I like a good lunch, but what a, just real fast. What about you? De dessert? Do you eat dessert every day or? Great question, Michelle. Um, no, I don't. I wish I, I wish I did. <laughs> I wish I did and I probably could, right. I'm an active person, but I just don't. Yeah. I think, it's easy to get into habits and for my personal diet, like that would be, a, that might be a little dangerous. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. What about you, Michelle? Um, no, not every day, but, um, yeah, recently I, I have had a lot of ice cream and I yes. thought of you every day. Like, I oh. feel like I'm falling in love with ice cream all over again. I'm have so have you had, that. yes. <laughs> have you had, um, do you see like the newest thing is to have like the cookie monster ice cream flavor? No, I have not seen. Oh, that. it's, just, it's blue. I think they say it's like really just like vanilla, but they had like all these cookies and it. it's so good. Um, Ooh. so if you see that, give it a try. I will check it out. I will check it out. I know in the summer you get into stints, right? Ice cream, super common and just yeah. living life, right? Like on the yeah. weekends, I end up doing dessert more often because I'm over yeah. at a friend's house and there's drinks and dessert. And then you're yeah. at someone's dinner, but like yeah. on a normal week to week basis. Yeah. Not so maybe once a week, right? At home. Right. That kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. 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 Yeah. 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 So I wonder yeah. what our listeners do in terms of their diet and dessert. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And guys, we told you there, there was going to be a poll. If you're listening on Spotify today, you will see a poll. Okay. So the question is, do you eat dessert every day? Yes. And just answer yes or no. And so we want to hear like, what, what are your dessert habits? Um, sure. so we will share once we get a bunch of those results, we will share them on a future episode. So I'm curious to hear. Yes. We're excited guys go over right now, participate in that poll. And again, like Michelle said, we will announce the results of the poll. So we'll know our community, our community's habits, what we do, what we eat yes. by the time we bring this poll up again. All right. Good stuff, Michelle. Any final takeaway for our listeners? 
Loved the question. This was yeah. really fun. And I, I think it's always fun to explore how language can evolve over time based on societal changes and yes. how how certain things came to be. So that was a fun one to to plan to research. So thanks for that question. Guys, let's use dinner. Try not to think about supper. Yeah, don't worry about it too much. Thanks to Fabiana for asking the question. Guys, we love your questions. Send them in to Lindsay at allersenglish.com. All right, Michelle, yes. thanks for hanging out today. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye.